Oysters are bivalves, they're native from New York Harbor. Historically, there was over 350 square miles of oyster reef in New York Harbor. Um, now there's functionally zero. There's a few oysters spread around, but there's no, no concentrated population. So what we're doing at Harbor School is trying to reintroduce oysters to New York Harbor. Well, Harbor School is a normal region's public high school we're out on Governor's Island. For the last three years, we've been part of the Oyster Restoration and Research Project, which is a group of um, 30 different organizations, primarily the Harbor School, the New York, New Jersey Baykeeper, and the Hudson River Foundation for Research. Together, we put six reefs in the water around the harbor and about 600,000 oysters on the bottom. Half the world's oysters used to be in New York Harbor. Um, the population in New York City got to a point where the raw sewage flowing into the harbor was poisoning the shellfish beds. And then it came as a real shock to everyone that putting raw sewage on your food supply was dangerous and should be avoided. There was all these typhoid and cholera outbreaks, everyone got sick. So we stopped eating oysters and then the water quality got to a point where all the oysters died. In the last 30 years, since the, or 40 years since the Clean Water Act, uh, many fish species return. There's a, a lot of wading birds hanging out in Jamaica Bay now. Our oysters are there uh, giving it a little kickstart to kind of get, get everything moving again. Oyster reefs are an important habitat for a nursery habitat and a foraging habitat for about 100 species of fish that used to live or breed in New York Harbor. So um, bringing the oyster reefs back provides a three-dimensional habitat that the fish can hide in, the invertebrates can hide in, and it creates a, a center for biodiversity. So okay. this is our floating upwell system. In here we'll have we have silos with single shell oysters here. We just, you know, keep growing them um, mass production till we can fill out large barrels and then put them down on the reefs later on in the year. Okay, so this is about a good size of when the oysters are ready to go down on the reefs. This has one, two, three, four. So this is four oysters. Estuaries are the most productive ecosystems on the planet, and the Hudson River Estuary is no exception. It used to be this incredibly productive place, and it still is, but at a much less degree than it could be. So oyster reefs are one way to restore it back to where it was.